Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we will learn about the basic rules in simplifying mathematical expressions with series of operations using the GEMDAS, PEMDAS, and MDAS. So to start with, let us know what GEMDAS, PEMDAS, and MDAS means. When we say GEMDAS, GEMDAS stands for the grouping symbols, the exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. PEMDAS stands for the parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. While the MDAS stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So to start with, given a mathematical expression with a series of operations using or applying the MDAS rule. For example, sample number one, 5 times 6 plus 3 minus 24 divided by 6. What is our answer? Applying the MDAS rule, we have multiplication. First, we're going to so uh, simplify this. 5 times 6, we have 30. Plus, we cannot uh, add 30 to 3 first. We will simplify first the division operation. We have 24 divided by 6. So the answer is 4 equals blank so the two remaining operations are addition and subtraction so we are going to add 30 and 3 so the answer is 33 minus 4 equals so now what's the answer 33 minus 4 so the answer is 20 Nine. So this is our answer. Another example. Example number two. Twelve divided by four times six minus 7 plus 10 what is our answer so here we have division first followed by multiplication then followed by subtraction and the last is addition so in this case we are going to divide first When, when multiplication is preceded by division, our rule is we are going to divide first. But when division is preceded by multiplication, then we are going to multiply first. So in this case, the multiplication is preceded by division, so we are going to divide first. So let's divide now. 12 divided by 4. So the answer is 3 times 6 
minus 4. We will simplify this one at a time. Okay, so the remaining operations are multiplication, subtraction, and division. So let's multiply. Next, 3 times 6. So we have 18 minus 7 plus 10 equals blank. Then, subtraction. So in this case, since the remaining operations are uh, subtraction and uh, addition, so either of the two, either either of the two, can be simplified. Now, you can start with subtraction, or else you can start with addition. Doesn't matter. So eighteen minus seven. Let's start with subtraction. Eighteen minus seven. So we have eleven positive plus 10 equals blank so 11 now plus 10 we have 21 so this is the answer so uh, if if ever we will add first before we subtract let's find out if the answer is equal to 21 so let's have 18 minus 7 plus 10 equals blank. So 18 minus 7 plus 10 Okay. So since 7 is negative we'll have negative 7 and 10 so you'll have positive 3 equals blank so 18 plus 3 now equals 21 so we arrived with the same result okay next example example number 3 6 times 3 divided by 9 plus 2 equals blank so 6 divided by or times 3 divided by 9 plus 2 so we have only 3 operations involved multiplication, division and addition so we have here that division is preceded by multiplication it's opposite to the example given in number 2 a while ago. So in this case, we are going to multiply first before we divide. So we have 6 divided by 3 is 18. Divided by 9 plus 2 equals blank. So 18 now divided by 2. So the answer is, is 2 plus 2 equals Blank. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So final answer is 4. Open parenthesis. 2 plus 5 raised to 2 divided by 5. Close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 8 minus 1 close parenthesis so what is the answer so we are going to I'd, uh, simplify first the terms found inside the grouping symbol so we have 2 plus 5 squared divided by 5 these are inside the parenthesis of the grouping symbol another 8 minus 1 inside also the grouping symbol so let's identify or simplify first the terms found inside the symbol of grouping so we have 2 plus so we have here the exponent so we will simplify first the term with exponent so we have 5 squared so 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5 we have 25 divided by 5 plus so here 8 minus 1 can be uh, simplify also 
So, we have 8 minus 1 is 7 equals blank. Continue, we have 2 plus, we cannot add first 2 and 25 since we have there the division. So, plus 25 divided by 5, so the answer is 5. Open our close parenthesis plus 7 equals blank. So here, 2 and 5 inside the parenthesis. So simplify this. 2 plus 5 is 7. Plus 7 equals blank. So 7 plus 7 is 14. So final answer is 14. Another example. Example number 2. We have 100 divided by 10 plus 5 minus 2 plus open parenthesis 3 raised to 3 close parenthesis Open another open parenthesis times 2 equals blank. So, what is our answer? So, we have only 3 raised to 3 times 2 inside the symbol of grouping. So, we can immediately simplify the terms outside. So, we have 100 times 10, so it's 10 plus this 2, we did not can be uh, simplified immediately. So 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 3 raised to 3, so that is 3 times 3 times 3. So we have to multiply 3 3 times by itself. So we have 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 we have 27 times 2 equals blank so 10 and 3 can all uh, be simplified also immediately since 10 and 3 is far from 27 times 2 it's separated by addition another sign here so we have 10 times plus 3 is 13 plus 27 times 2. So we have 54 equals blank. So 13 plus 54, our answer is 67. So this is our final answer.